Have you ever seen a house that nobody lived in go to pieces and lose its beingness? Have you ever seen a town lose its beingness? Or have you ever felt directly the beingness of a town? People keep up this beingness. Now an artist can come in, a writer, a poet, something of the sort, and grant a new beingness to a town. Sort of out of whole cloth, he, he, he just uh, looks around and he says, why you have a beautiful town here? And uh, so forth, and he tells the people all about it. And they've, they've never granted any beingness at all. They're so busy trying to keep each other from eating each other up. They've never noticed this, but this is something they can agree upon, this town. And the town comes to life, just to that degree. It is alive then. It's rather remarkable, by the way, to, to do this in a town. Uh, it is a capability which any human being has. And I have often been delighted with the immediate results of, for instance, being in a, a rural community which had a weekly newspaper and uh, uh, writing, uh, oh, considerable doggerel, uh, considerable verse or something like that about its town or writing descriptive essays or giving them quotes from the leading magazines concerning their towns, which I wrote, you see. And uh, gave them no idea of how famous their town was until they read it in their local paper. And then go back through the area a year or two later and find the town was noted for being something or other. Uh, man, man discourages this. He, he believes this is a swindle or something. It's not. An artist has very, very, very little to do with facts. The more he has to do with facts, the more of a hack he is. Uh, what he has to do with is direct beingness. And if he can breathe the breath of truth into anything, he's an artist. And if he can't, he's not an artist. And I don't care how many degrees he has or who he studied under. Now, it's easy to release this. It's not a God-given, untapped talent. One that an individual is unable to assume. You are here, you are alive, when you were small, you granted beingness to your dog, your wagon. In other words, you brought this to life. A doll, these things came alive. And to this day, you grant beingness to a car, a favorite book, possessions. And uh, you sometimes you have uh, perhaps even run into this. You have been wearing certain clothes when a, an unpleasant experience occurred. And uh, the next day, and maybe for three or four days afterwards, you didn't care to wear that suit, or you didn't care to wear that dress, you put that aside. That's because you imbued it with a certain beingness. Now this beingness is more than simply time, space, and energy. It is a livingness, and it rather exceeds inspection until a person in inspects it. I talk about it, you know what I'm talking about. Now, one is alive to the degree that individuals have granted him beingness and that he has granted others beingness. He is alive as a group to that degree. But he is really as alive as he himself is perfectly willing to grant beingness, can grant beingness, and is willing to have others grant beingness.